Alright, so today is going to be one of my many videos about jacking up the car whenever you need to do some work underneath or do things with it. Now, I do have those race ramps down over there. I use those to do oil changes, get under the car, anything I need to do. If I need to get the exhaust, um, those are perfect for those. Where they fall short, though, is when you need to get access to your wheels. When you need to pull your wheels and tires off for some reason. When you need to pull your wheels off, <laughs> you're going to need a jack. Uh, now the jack I had before, so that is the jack I've had for two decades now. Uh, it's been an awesome jack, but you can see it sits up pretty high. Um, I've always driven trucks, so it was always perfect for me. Now I have used it on the Avenger, but to make it work on the Avenger, I kind of have to shimmy this between the tire and the uh, fender, and then it fits underneath the body and I can use it. But now once I get the Challenger, that, there's no way it's going to fit underneath there. In fact, I'll go ahead and show you. So as you can see, yeah, that's not going under. And then even if I did the same trick like I do on my Avenger, even if I do that, it's still taller than the floor. Okay, so what that means is I had to go buy a new jack. And I was looking them up, and then I found this one at Harbor Freight. It's cool, it's orange, kind of looks semi-orange, like the engine, sort of. Daytona. Awesome name. But best of all, it's not that expensive. I think it was like 150 bucks, and I'll throw up an uh, image of the receipt right now. Let's go ahead, unbox this thing, take a look. Now, it is heavy. To be honest, for 150 bucks, it has to cost them a pretty penny to ship. Uh, it shipped to me via FedEx, but not even a regular FedEx truck. It was like a freight box truck. So it was like FedEx freight, I think. So like we just got some tape. Tape there. Surprisingly, that's all that holds it. Just some tape around the box. Alright, so here we got the owner's manual, which you shouldn't need an owner's manual to know how to operate a jack. Here is the bars, which is so nice compared to my old jack, which all I had is this little guy right here. That's the and this is some nice foam right here, so it'll help protect your car. And I'm going to say that goes into the jack itself. So there's the handle, nice long handle. That is a nice quality looking jack right here. I'll tell you what, flat pad, rubber, but still has the edges right here. Let's go ahead, take a look. A little protective coating there, a bunch of styrofoam. Yeah, this is a nice jack, I like it. Whew, it's heavy. I feel much more legit. Yeah, I dare say. Now, this is also a three-ton jack. They're both three-ton jacks. This one feels much heavier than this. Now, let's go ahead and grab this bar. Oh, a little bit, a little oily. Obviously, these things have to be greased up. Oh, let's pull this up. Let me get a rag. There's some styrofoam in the grease here, so I just kind of want to clean this up. Oh man, this thing is heavy. Okay, now I do want to say um, with the styrofoam, it'd be nice if they maybe put this kind of through a plastic bag around or something because as you can see, this thing is heavy and it just 
destroys the styrofoam that it's sitting in. So which is all little blights all over. So let's go ahead and throw some just like that. Oh wait, I'm missing one thing. There's a uh, little block right here. It goes straight up 90 degree angle and one pump. That's a pretty good amount. You know what? I'm gonna do something interesting. Let me grab a measuring tape. We're gonna see how much that goes up uh, with one single pump. So as of right now, it is about three and a quarter inches. So let's go ahead and give this one single pump. And let's take a look. So we went from three and a quarter inches to looks like about six and a half. So three and a quarter inches with each individual pump. Next measurement. How many pumps to get this all the way up? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's not all the way down. So it's actually less than seven full pumps to get that jack all the way up as high as it goes. Now let's measure how high does it go? We're about 20 inches. So three and a quarter, so it's almost 17 inches of uh, raise there. That's, that's pretty good, that's not bad. So I guess now the last thing that's left to do is just throw it underneath the Challenger, pump it up. All right, so let's go ahead and jack up front. Now I do have these cool little uh, mag pads. Um, that goes around the pinch weld here. I do have a separate video on these if you want to check it out. All right, now let's roll this under. Now here's the nice thing about this jack too, is look at this surface is nice and flat and pretty wide. It's actually as wide as this mag pad. Whereas that other jack right there, it's a bowl shape. <laughs> so even if I could use it, I would need to get like a block or something to make that flatter. Raise it up, fits on there perfectly. So, front wheel is off, and that mag pad is nice because it's keeping that jack off of the pinch weld and off the plastic rocket building. Now once you have all the weight on it, I mean, it takes a little muscle, not much, it's a 4,000 pound car, so but that's what's nice about this long bar, gives you much more reach on that. So let's go ahead and lower it back down. One other thing I'm noticing, this decal, it's kind of bubbled up here at the curve. And that's going to bug the heck out of me. Let's see if we can push that in. Hopefully it'll stick. Doorbell's going off. The doorbell is Amazon. The package for me. More heat wrap. I remember in my previous video, I wrapped up my intake. Um, there's a few spots that I couldn't get to because I only had two of these, so I ordered another one, uh, fill up a few more spots. Anyway, that has nothing to do with today's video. So getting back to the jack, so far, I mean, I've only used it to raise up the back and the front for this video, uh, but so far it seems really good. Quality seems, seems good. I mean, for the price, I don't think you could beat it. And I will say this, orange looks absolutely awesome with this cell raisin color. Okay, before I end this uh, unboxing review use blah, 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 on this jack, I wanted to bring up one more thing because I uh, actually was like, oh, let me just see what's in this owner's manual just to check it out. So there's some interesting info. First, obviously safety stuff, uh, but the measurements I took do match up with what's in here. So uh, we already know weight capacity is three ton minimum height three and a quarter inches max height 20 inches so that um measured up correctly uh the other things to know saddle pad size three point almost four inches which will like we saw pretty pretty wide so that's nice we talk about how heavy it is there it is this thing weighs 77 pounds but then the other thing i noticed which i didn't even there's a procedure in here to bleed in bleed trapped air 
I did not do that. I'm done feel like it needs it, but I may just go ahead and do it. It's pretty simple. Basically, like it shows here, this is a picture under a plate. So this is the plate. There's two screws each side. So inside there, under this plate, is that right there. And there's a screw to bleed out any air, basically. Just open that up, pump the handle to force air out of the system, and then just re replace that plug. Um, there's also instructions for adding oil if you need to. Um, I don't think I need to do that at all. And then just, oh, this is how you lift it. This is how you lower it. Carefully positioned, blah, 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 blah. You should be able to figure all that stuff out. So anyway, um, oh, and a little assembly diagram. So there's some useful information in this after all. Um, and again, that is it. So hope if you are um, debating getting one of these, that helps you out. Take a look at it. Uh, so far, yeah, thumb, double thumbs up i definitely buy it again. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.